Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Python tuples. What is tuple? Tuple is one of four built-in Python data structures used to store collections of data in a single variable. Tuple is uh, tuple items are ordered and unchangeable. Ordered means that the items after defined the order will not change. Unchangeable, meaning that we can't change, add or remove items after the tuple had been created. The tuple items are written within round brackets. In this cell, we will, we will create tuple 1, banana, apple, and print tuple 1 and print the type of tuple 1. Run. This is the items, banana and apple, and the type class tuple. Tuple length. To determine the number of the item in the tuple, use the length function. We will print the length for tuple 1 is 2. Tuple allow duplicates. Tuple 1 equal banana, apple, banana, apple. And print. We will run it. This is the items. Tuple items data types. The data types can be string, apple, banana, cherry, or integer. 10.70, float, 10.8, polyon, true, false, or mix. And we will run this cell and see the first one, string, second one, integer, third, float, fourth, polyon, fifth, is mix volume and string and float access tuple items tuple one banana apple banana orange kiwi cherry print tuple one and print tuple one of index zero the index and tuple start from zero and we will run this cell see the result banana apple banana orange it's all the items inside the tuple one and tuple one of index zero is banana brand tuple one of index minus one index minus one it means the last item in the tuple. We will run this cell. The last item, cherry. In this cell, Brent tuple 1, index minus 2. Minus 2 refers to the end, second, last items. The second, last items should be key. Key. Access tuple items using a range of index. Print tuple one, print tuple one of here nothing. It means start from the first, from the beginning, index zero, up to three, but not including three. Start from one up to three, not including three. It will be index of zero, index of one, and the index of 2 in tuple 1. 
رانيت بنانا ابل بنانا اورنج اندكس زيرو بنانا اندكس 1 اندكس 2 نوت انكلودينج 3 اندكس 3 برنت تابل 1 ستارت فروم اندكس 1 اب تو اندكس 4 انكلودينج index 1 and not including index 4 should be apple banana orange 1 2 3 we will run it apple banana orange index 1 2 3 not including 4 Print top one index start from one. Here nothing index. It means to the end of the top. End of the eye. We will run it. Start from one apple up to the end sharing. Access tuple using loop. Iteration through the items and print the values. For i in tuple 1, print i. We will run the cell, see the result. Banana, apple, banana, orange, kiwi, shearing. Print all items by referring to their index number. We will print the items and the index referring to the index run print tuple dot index i for i in range length of tuple 1 print tuple 1 of index value of i we'll start from index 0 1 2, 3, 4, 5. End of the tuple. Using while loop. In while loop, we have to define the variable. Indexing variable. i equals 0. While i less than length of tuple 1. Print tuple 1 of index i, the value of i, and Increase i, i equal i plus 1. And run to print the all items of tuple. Check if item exists. If orange in tuple 1, print orange is exist in tuple 1. And in tuple 1, orange already exists. Run this. Orange is exist. Update tuples. Tuples are unchangeable, meaning that you can't change, add, or remove items once the tuple is created. But there are some workarounds to update tuple items. This tuple names. Johnson, Jamie, Tim. We have to convert tuple into a list first. List names equal list tuples named. It will convert it tuple name to list and update list. List of index one, Kevin. We will change Jamie to Kevin and we have to convert the list into tuple tuple names equal tuple list names print tuple names we will run it tuple names already update 
item of index one Jimmy to Kevin. This is a way to update any items in topic. We have to convert it to a list and make update and convert the list to double again and it will be modified. Adding the item to double. It's same way. Tuple names Johnson, Jamie, Tim. We have to convert tuple into list. List names equal list tuple names. And update the list. List names dot append Kevin. Kevin will append after Tim. And convert the list into tuple. Tuple names equal tuple list names after modification and print tuple name. Already add Kevin to the item of the tuple names. Remove item from tuple. Same way. Tuple names Johnson, Jamie, Tim. Convert tuple into a list. List names equal list tuple names. And update list. List names dot remove Jimmy. And convert the list into a tuple. Tuple names equal tuple list names. And print tuple. We will run it and see the result. The table after modifications Johnson and Tim. Jimmy delete. Delete tuple completely. We can delete tuple by using del. This tuple names del tuple names and print tuple names. Should be give me error because tuple names already deleted here. We will run. This is error name, tuple names is not defined because we deleted here. Join tuples. To join two or more tuples, you can use the plus operator. Tuple 1 equal 1, 2, 3. Tuple 2 equal 1.5, 2.6, 3.9. Tuple 3 equal Johnson, Tim, Jimmy, Tim. Topple 4 equal topple 1 plus topple 2 plus topple 3. Print topple 4. We will run it and see the result. This is the topple 1. And this is topple 2. And topple 3. It's joined in topple 4. Multiply tuples. If you want to multiply the content of a tuple given number of times, you can use the multiply operator. Tuple 1, Johnson, Jimmy, Tim. Multiply tuple equal tuple 1, multiply 2, and print multiply tuple. We will run the cell. will be repeated. Johnson, Jimmy, Tim. Johnson, Jimmy, Tim. This is everything you need to know to start with topic. And I'm using Jupyter Notebook. If you haven't Python in your local computer, you can use Google Collab and run Python code without install Python on your local computer. And I will put video link how to use google uh, google collab in video description and i will put this link for jupyter notebook in video description you can download it and also i will put some important links i hope it will be useful for you
Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in next video.